action play. More patient than Seiju? We'll see. This is going to be another interesting matchup because I, I believe Pikachu probably does his best damage up close as well. But he does have probably a better projectile or range game compared to Blaze again. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Not just that he's more nimble, he's a lot more, uh, he's a lot faster. So uh, the movement is really going to come into play and in how they zone each other out. Now, one thing I'd l I have to say is my favorite thing about Rip's Pikachu are the combos. Oh, yes. He goes for this uppercut, which is uh, reminiscent of the electric wing god fist that you see from the uh, the Mishimas yes, the in Mishimas. the Tekken games. Not just that, a lot of the moves, actually, you'll see, if, especially if you're a Tekken fan, you'll see a lot of the moves from Pikachu derive of the Mishima character. So you have the electric wing god fist, you have the hunting hawk kicks, you have the, the sweeps. You'll, you'll see all that if, if he's able to land a, a combo starter. So... Right away, we switch back into the dual phase, and this is where really the damage is going to come out for Pikachu. If he's able to land anything. But Spooky doing a great job of locking him down right now. Okay, here's a combo. Nice. And there's the Blizzard. And as you notice, guys, if you get right underneath Suicune, Suicune, uh, Suicune is susceptible to attack. So, yeah, basically... A lot, a lot of the stuff, like you mentioned, it does come in at an angle. So if you're under there, it's not going to be pretty for Suicune. Oh, this, this could be bad. Here's the Frogadier. Oh, but Spooky. Yep, Spooky calling Frogadier as well. Opportunity for a combo, but gets knocked way too far. And there are the uppercuts that we were speaking about. One. Oh, and... Got him in the air, yeah. Yeah, it looks like Rip opted to go for an extended combo, but he manages to get the grab. And the first round here in the first game. Now, we should probably see a switch here in the assist usage. He's going for the extra boost here. Yep, the boost and attack for a limited amount of time and help with helping hand from Eevee. Great zoning right there by Rip, going straight into dual phase, and he gets right behind Spooky, but he manages to block in time, which shows that you can definitely block and uh, back turn. Oh, using that that focus there, that block attack, able to absorb some hits. Helping hand, and now we have the. Oh, look at the damage, and that's exactly why Spooky keeps going for that move, is because it does so much damage. And Pikachu, one of the lower health characters in the game. Okay, activates the burst. Oh, and Spooky getting right outside of the range. One, two. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Look at that amazing combo right there by Rip. And he's gonna punch right through him. And look at that face. <laughs> Probably one of the cooler ones in the game I've seen. I think this is, yeah, definitely one of the more visually pleasing supers. And I love how Rip was able to already figure out a combo into that. But I think Spooky just caught Rip moving a little too much. Oh, and now we're going oh. straight into Sheer Cold. And that was just a raw burst super. We'll see how much damage that really does. Oh my gosh, a sliver of life left. Wow, poor Pikachu with only 570 health. And, and Spooky just looking to seal the deal here with both the Frogadier assist and his projectiles. I don't know what you do against that situation. You have to be, remain very patient. Um, I, if, I, if I remember right, you cannot chip somebody to death in this, in this game. Yeah, this is true. I have yet to see anyone um, lose a match to chip. It's either because they let go of their shield and try to attack immediately afterwards. All right, switches back to dual phase right away. Great zoning with the projectiles there from Rip. There's the helping hand by Spooky. So now we're, we're going to have to see Rip be careful because Spooky's going to deal more damage. Great, right. caught Spooky blocking in the corner. A really good strategy that you see a lot of these players do. They'll try to apply a lot of pressure, and then once you're in the corner, they'll go for a grab. Oh, nice. Caught him right out of the throw attempt. And here it is again, Rip. Literally letting it rip. And is this enough? Oh, wow, the scaling didn't matter. Woo! Pikachu with that fist right through Suicune. Pikachu definitely looking like one of the better characters in the game. You also have access to Thunder, which is a great zoning tool. It comes down from the sky, tracks opponents really well, and you can cancel it in mid-air to throw your opponent off. Yeah, that's something we haven't really seen from Rip yet, but I don't think he's really had a chance to use it. I mean, he's looking more ways to get in. So we'll see. We'll see if he's able to employ it in this next match. Oh, absolutely. I do know that Suikun has access to Mirror Coat. So if you see... Rip opt to go for the thunder. Mm -hmm. You'll see Spooky counter that projectile with Miracle and then fire a beam right back at Rip. Oh. So that might be why you see Rip opt to just rush Suicune down. I see. I hope we see that. I'd like to see it. 
really showed the, the depth in the game and how much the programmers and designers thought about it. So Frogadier is selected. By the way, if you notice, guys, Sui Suicune's health is at 6.30. Definitely on the higher end of the spectrum, of course, with Machamp having the most. Suicune has second highest health. For a zoner, that's actually really amazing. And as you see right there, the Miracle just waiting to counter his opponent. One of the, the game system aspects we probably didn't really touch on is that obviously we know if you activate your burst, you do heal some of your gray light. But also when you grab close range throws, when you're able to do that, you also gain some life as well. Oh, this is definitely true. And some characters are even able to build up their burst gauge with a grab, namely Gengar. Oh, I can't wait till we see some Gengar. Oh. I hope we see some Gengar. Yeah, that character definitely has a high learning curve, but I'd love to see it as well. And as you can see, Spooky just basically running circles around with Rip. All right, they're able to attack on that. He activates his burst. And the opportunity for... Oh, wait! Is that a punish? Wow, Rip! Now, I believe this is unscaled damage. It is. Yes. So so that instant nature of, of activating your super and punishing something like that, that air beam that he did there, really played in his favor. And there's the beams right there. And if you notice, you can stay right outside of the range. Wow, Spooky actually jumping up in the air, getting caught by the thunder. Let's see if he remembers to use the miracle. Oh, oh. caught him. Wow, and now basically Pikachu forcing Suicune to play his game. Yeah. All right, he's gonna stick with Frogadier. Let's see what happens. Both players right now trying to get that very critical in. Oh, and right there, Spooky actually going for Fennekin's Ember, which is a defensive assist. If ever you're close range to your opponent, you would opt to go for that just to get people off of you. And now it has a huge area of effect as well. So usually if that does hit or if, it, if they try to attempt like either a throw or an attack mix up close, that'll hit. Now both players right now looking for that that in, that offensive in. Oh, Spooky's playing that range game. Oh, and I like how Spooky basically went up in the air to avoid the electric attack. And there's the combo basically from the block attack. Block attacks do have crumple. So you're able to combo afterwards. Oh, he had to activate. Oh, he definitely had to go for that. Wait. And he opts to try to go for the burst special, but he misses. He's still on top of Suiku. You can see Spooky's just trying to keep him back. But here's Rip again with a great combo. Wow. Able to land two Godfists after that. And that's it. Wow. Amazing job by Rip. Two straight rounds. And look how mean that Pikachu is. <laughs> He's definitely charged up. Oh, yeah. Absolutely.